Okay guys, I'm sorry it's a bit too loud, but it's time to make this recipe. It is my take on it. So here I have prepared the ingredients. And here is two tablespoons of vegetable oil heating up. So they're already heated up. So it's time for us to place the onions. It's a half medium onion and our goal is to make it, well, soften a bit. After we got the onion softened, we need to place the meat. Watch out to not place the wrong thing inside, I mean this. And we need to start cooking it. Backup is here offering his help, bringing me his toy. Bringing me his toy because he doesn't like me paying attention to anything else. And see, the meat is almost ready. It's already started to get in the part. Now it's time to place salt. I normally like to measure it that way. That much is around a spoon. Which, depending on your likings, can be more or less. Enter the black paper. And he's back with the toy. It's either that, or you can keep it in here. And see how much you actually need. I personally would like a little bit more of salt. There we go. When you see the water coming, right here, would be appropriate time to place the sugar. And mix it very well. I'm going to let it cook like this for a moment and then I'm going to pour the tomatoes. Okay, that's enough. Now we're pouring the tomato paste. Unfortunately, I don't have a paste, I have tomatoes with some ingredients inside, but hey, we get what we have. And we need to shuffle a bit more. For some reason, I'm saying shuffle when it's actually mixed, but not important now. We are going to let it boil until it thickens. So jump cut and see in a moment. Okay guys, the final result is here and this is what I believe it should look like. I'm sorry if the video, the footage outside was bad. I came here just because outside is dark already and you will not be able to see anything. This is also the reason why I will not show you how I'm going to make the bread. But I'm going to tell you. So, you're going to take a pan, either this or a green one. Then you're going to take the dough, divide it by six and make it into circles of about two centimeters. Then you bake it from three to five minutes per side. Oh, that depends a lot on many things, but I will tell you in a moment how I actually did it. And I'm going to show you the final results. So, let's go! Okay guys, this is the final result. It's definitely not as good looking as it's on the book. But, I love it. It's really tasty. I already tried one, so... Yeah, um, I'm not sure if they've made a big things. Like those things being bigger. Or they use two like I'm doing now. But, in both cases, it's really tasty. So. What I did? Well, I took them and then I put them in between the bread. Anyway, that's it, guys. That's the first recipe I actually love. So go ahead and try it. Thank you so much for watching. If you find this video fun, make sure you let me know by liking, comment, and subscribe. If you haven't, it will really help me out. Thanks for watching again and see you next time. Bye bye, guys.